and I am here to talk about Moblin, specifically Moblin version 2. We had our coming out party on Moblin version 2 on May 19th, uh, and we got quite a bit of coverage on that, and so we're going to talk to you about the success of Moblin version 2. And I couldn't be standing up here talking to you about the success of Moblin without all the partners that we have involved in helping us deliver this. So here's a list of the partners. A lot of them are here today supporting us in ensuring that we deliver a product-capable version of Moblin into the market this year. So let's start with, uh, let's start with talking about the history of, of uh, where Moblin started. When you look at the segments that Intel's investing in, we, look, we looked at uh, a lot of different areas like the mobile internet device, the netbooks, net tops, automotive space, and embedded. And the one thing that it had in common was a very fragmented environment in how they delivered their solutions. They're very specific and customized. As Naveen described, we invested about five years ago, started investing in a new architecture of our IA, our new device in I, with IA architecture to meet the needs of these marketplaces. And that is the added platform. The other thing that was missing in this marketplace was a optimized environment on top of the AdBase platform to meet the needs of each one of these market segments. We felt it was uh, not efficient to have a, a specific um, optimized environment for each one, but if we put a layer across that met the needs of all those market segments, we would bring the horizontal marketplace to these new markets that Intel is entering. And so that's when we decided to invest and build out and deliver mobile. And that's what it's designed for. Okay, so, let's, so if we look at the history of mobile, uh, we started mobile in about June of 2007 as an open source project, a pure open source project. That means you don't have to sign any agreements. You just participate, and it's based on meritocracy, the traditional way open source works. So we started that project. It's called mobile.org. And we started investing in optimizations around the Atom platform. In the second, uh, first half of 2008, our first mobile internet devices hit the market with Moblin-based technology incorporated. We had a lot of help and support from our OSVs, like Canonical and Asianix, and we had a lot of participation from our OEMs, like uh, Clarion, Compel, IGO, and others. In addition to that, we came here to Computex last year and talked about the technology we were investing in incorporating into the netbooks. If you remember last year, we talked about putting mobile tech capabilities into netbooks last year. And this year, we're continuing to invest and evolve that through our version 2, which we alpha released in January, and the beta was May 19th this year. In addition to that, we also recognize that for these type of devices, Really what leads these devices is the usage experience. It's how you interact with that device and what you do with that device. And we'll talk a lot about the user interface, the user experience for the netbooks and net tops. But that's really what's key when, a, when an end user starts participating with this device is the experience. And so because of that, and because of the critical nature of that, we acquired a company called OpenHand. And they're a very uh, talented team out of London that have been responsible for developing user interfaces for a lot of well-known players in the industry like Nokia, Veneer, OpenMoco, any of the OLPC. So we acquired this company. They're responsible for the user experience that we're going to show you today. And now we're, the other key element that uh, happened this year uh, is the need to move Moblin to an independent governed area, which is the Linux Foundation. Jim Zemlin, up front here, is the executive director of the Linux Foundation. He'll be talking today about how he's taking this forward and ensuring the continual evolution uh, and support of, of uh, Moblin. So Moblin provides the optimized operating environment. It's focused on fast boot. You want to get these devices up and running quickly. It's focused on the footprint, because these devices have a small memory footprint. We optimize for that. And the battery life is absolutely critical on these devices. As you heard yesterday in Muli's keynote, once you've used one of these devices, battery life is one of the top two things you focus on when you want one of these devices. So we focused on improving the battery life. And then finally, we built a complete user interface from the ground up specifically to support these devices. Okay? So fast boot. Fast boot, uh, we've talked very publicly about this. We are, once the boot process completes, 
We are targeting less than five seconds to boot. That's our goal. Or if you could include the boot process, it's less than 10 seconds. So we are absolutely committed to ensuring that we have a very, very fast boot uh, process on these devices. The second thing is the reduced footprint. Some of these devices, the small mobile internet devices and handset devices when they come out, will have very, very limited memory capability. We're targeting a very, very small footprint for, these, for, these, uh, for mobile. Mobile is a PC Linux, it's pure PC Linux, but we're taking out the elements that are not necessary for these devices to continue to reduce the footprint. And then battery life, there's lots of capabilities built into Atom, uh, sleep states and other capabilities built into Atom that we take full advantage of to ensure that we absolutely optimize the battery consumption on these devices. Willie talked about the performance of a device is also critical. We were very confident that the performance of Atom and the capabilities built in around sleep states will make this a very, very compelling device with long battery life. And finally, we have tools that are used with the uh, ISVs and OEMs, such as PowerTop, that are designed to help you build even a more efficient uh, platform as you add other elements and you ensure that those are actually power optimized as well.